Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm here with Sands of Revelation event. Uh, I'm gonna be playing it a whole bunch. Um, I've avoided somehow Incognito Nefaria. I haven't really pulled except for 10 tickets, but still. Um, and I did end up getting an SSR with that, but it was some stupid fucking lager. So for today's video, I'm just gonna grind. That's it. I was gonna do defensive battles. I thought about it, um, but... I recorded a video with defensive battles. Uh, and let's just say it was probably... It probably wouldn't... Not a lot of people would have liked it. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Uh, it, it was, uh... Listen. I'm not the greatest at paying attention. Um... As to specifically defensive battles. Because I really do not like them. Um... And during that video, I think I died about halfway in, and then I started listening to the Scott Steiner math promo video. Um, so that video is going to go in a pile I call Wookie Recorded Something, but he is not going to show it to anyone. Because I'm afraid of negative backlash. So that's how that's going to live. Um, it's not that I don't think that Dragalia people don't like fun videos. I just feel like sometimes they expect actually Dragalia to be played um, in some way. You know, for someone to pay attention and to show the game the proper respect. Was I respecting the game when I looked at the Scott Snyder promo about four minutes in? No. Was I having fun though? Yes. I was having a lot of fun. I don't know. I'll hold on to it. I don't feel like releasing it though. I don't know if people would, one, be okay with it. I feel like it, 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 it has a very good chance of potentially angering some people, so I don't, I don't want to release it. And you're saying, before you say, like, Wookie, what do you mean? Why would something like that potentially beget a negative backlash? I would say, look at the people video, where all I did was have fun, and then people fucking disliked that video. I think it's still my most disliked video. <laughs> I think Dragalia people like having fun, but they also like the Dragalia to be the main focus, so... Um... For respecting their their wishes of what they want to see, I listen to even negativity. Um, if I feel something is warranted, if something doesn't do well, people usually are nice enough people not to tell me. But what all I can do is look directly into myself and see like, well, what did I did in that video that was different from everything else I did? The answer is is that I decided to just have fun and do something very stupid, and not everyone appreciates those type of videos. I don't understand. I can- I personally love those kind of videos. The ones that just go horribly off the rails, I love those. That's why I love, um, when D Free and, uh, Hydros did their What If He's a Gay videos, and most of them always, like, turned out, um, a, a lot of them would turn into them just kind of having fun with each other. Uh, that sounded way more sexual than I meant it to be. But kind of having fun in the sense of like, oh, we're just palling around while this- like, Dokkan isn't so amazing that- Someone can't have fun while it's uh, going on in the background. So I always think like those type of videos are really fun. But I digress. Let's talk about Dragalia, huh? So second year anniversary, still waiting, still sa saving up everything I have. Um, I'll probably start dipping into the other events once I finish this event. To be 100% honest with you, um, this event is so easy to grind out that I don't really feel like I'll need to play that much. I don't really feel the need. If I cared about this event a little bit more, maybe I would try and get three stars on it, but I really don't care about these type of events. Um, and that's my own personal thing. If you like these events, more power to you. I will let you have your fun with them, but I will under un ask you to understand that I do not derive any pl pleasure from them and would rather do something else. I think we can meet halfway at that at least. That I can let you have fun and you can let me not enjoy it. I think that's perfectly fine. Ooh, she's really close to the next level. I didn't even realize. Next. Ah, oh, I'm a dumb dumb and I forgot to hit auto repeat. Damn it! I hate when the I hear <laughs> Auto repeat, fool. There you go. And this is gonna be unfortunate forever because I'm about to get a whole bunch of co-op wings that I'm just never gonna use. All right. Yay, more fun! Uh, but yeah, saving up for second anniversary. Saving up a bunch of stuff. There's a good portion of stuff that I'm just waiting specifically for that that I'll probably or break into the vault once I actually know what's gonna happen. Um, 
But, uh, you know, I'm not stressing too much. I don't know who it's gonna be. Um, but whoever it's gonna be, I'm sure will be insanely good, at least on release. I mean, comparing to the first year anniversary, who was, what, the Prince? And I feel like Light is just such in a weird place that the Prince didn't really feel like he got a chance to shine until Thor came out. Now he's a little bit better. Um, he was always really solid. The problem is, is that he was just a really weirdly built support around dragons. And there wasn't a lot of Light Dragons for you to go like, Oh man, can't wait for him to go ham with Cupid. No, like... Thor is like a crazy, uh, fun playing dragon, so it finally was like the combination of two good things coming together, you know what I'm saying? That's at least how I feel about it. But he was a per- I think he's still pretty solid. He's not like other Galas where I feel like, oh, you know, they could definitely use some kind of buff. Like, uh, Galaranzel. But to be fair, Galaranzel needed a buff ever the second, uh, Bright Elise came out and completely ruined him just completely made him irrelevant with one wedding dress. You're doing great, Lily. I think you're doing fantastic. Me. Bum, 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 bum. But yeah, this is a lot of what these type of events for me is, basically. Just kind of wait. Let the... let it auto itself. I shall blossom. Hmm. I wonder if they're ever gonna allow um, Otto to get dragon, or is that maybe something where it's like, eh, if we let the computer auto dragon, then it'll be too strong, and you'll never be able to do any event again. I don't know, it feels weird to me that they- I think it's on purpose that they're not letting uh, the AI use dragon. To be honest, I feel like if the AI was allowed to use dragon, they would hit that dragon button the second it was possible. Um, so it definitely feels like a deliberate choice on their part. Um, some things they j just happen in the game that feels like completely accidental, for example, um... What's a good example of it? it the uh, the weapon that switches between it, like they totally never planned that from the beginning. So when the AI, uh, when that type of type of weapon was introduced, um, the AI just instantly kept hitting it over and over and over again, being like, "Oh, skill up, hit button, skill up, hit button, skill up, hit button, skill up, hit button," and now they do that less, I think. You're doing great. All right, I think that's it for today's video, everyone. Um, I hope you liked it somehow. It was more of a relaxing video. I think, you know, I've never made any bones about what your Galia is. And for me, for the hours I spent in this game, for many other people, it's speedrunning events. For me, it is doing this. Just kind of watching it auto and leaving it at that. That's it for today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.